Yeah, I think. All right, all right, bye. I know. I it's I we're we're good now. We should be on the steps. We just don't have the camera is I don't know why our camera isn't working. Wow. There is a ton. There's another page. <laughs> oh my god. Can you see Jim, can, can you hear Lonnie and me in here? Yes, we can hear you. Um we would we would love it if everybody would mute for now. Thumbs up. Where are we? I don't know, we're lost. Go to the other page. This is going to be intense. I'm over here. Go to. We're right there. Yeah. But look, if we go speaker view. We have to mute everybody. Versus gallery view. Here's gallery view. But then how do we get it on? Why is it on Lonnie's? Who's Jamie? Jamie Tucker, oh. my daughter. Okay. Um, can all of you hear us? All right. Good. All right. Good. So there's um, a lot of boxes on our screen. We're figuring this out, but um, it sounds like you guys can hear us pretty well. Um, welcome to um, our second, right? Yeah. Our second. second oh, we got a little second more social round. distance here. Yeah. Step back just a foot. Um, so. We are excited about this and hope, hopefully we'll figure out this technology thing and we can all kind of have good workouts together moving forward. But uh, I want to thank all you guys for your patience and understanding through this process. Um, we are uh, doing our best to provide a service for you as best we can and it will get better, I promise you that. And hopefully we'll actually all be back in the gym together soon. Um, I do want to thank Joe. He's been putting in a lot of time on the sidelines. Um, he's doing a fantastic job, as well as Jen and uh, Franny and Tasia and Stacy. We're all kind of working behind the scenes here, trying to make make this thing uh, work. So appreciate your patience. Um, Joe, do you want to say anything as we before you start? Yeah, we can get things going. Okay. So. There is that little chat button down at the bottom. Um, I'm going to be monitoring the chat screen, um, and I can kind of um, – how do I answer them? You can do it verbally. Okay, so if I see questions that start to come up on the screen, rather than Joe trying to read them and answer them, I'll go ahead and just verbally answer, okay? One question is at a time as it comes up. For example, Jim, you are freezing and dropping out. Well, I feel pretty warm. I don't feel like I'm freezing. <laughs> um, so, but we're going to go ahead and just start. We got thumbs up from everybody to start. Okay. All right. I think we have a second page as well. Let me go to this view here. Whoa. So, Lonnie, that's interesting. We've got Lonnie and uh, Lonnie and uh, Ian there. Are you guys seeing us, Lonnie and Ian, and hearing us? Okay, all right. All right. I wonder why the, just the two of them show up on that, but we'll just go back to that. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over to Joe. Guys, have a great workout. Here we go. Open screen down a little. Here we go. All right, my knees, everybody. March in those knees. Everybody's doing good. Time to get a little sweat on. Let's get a few more of these on each side. Good. And start kicking the heels up. Keep the knees pointed straight down. Kick the heels up. Good. Any questions yet? Try to get some good balance during these knee kicks. And internal hip circles. Huh? 
Switch it, external hanging out to the side. Good, let's go into the hip hinges, a little wider base, knees slightly bent, hip hinges, hips go back, back stays flat. What are you doing, trying to get it down there? Make sure we get a good stretch in the back of those upper legs. And wind it out. Inner thigh stretch side to side. Push your way to see this. And regular squat, regular squat. Knees follow those toes, hips go back. Good, and alternating reverse lunges. Reverse lunges. You incorporate a little torso twist over that forward leg or a reach overhead. And forward arm circle. Start small, get through a full range of motion. It's funny that the big ones, huh? And start shaking it out across the chest. Still trying to get a stretch in the shoulders. And palms up reverse, palms up reverse. Good, get those circles nice and big. And shake it up vertically towards the ceiling. They're not want to be seen. <laughs> That's funny. And wide the feet, reach it across side to side. Jody, uh, Stephanie, David, Libby, uh, Jen, you know what we're doing, Mr. Becker. Uh, we don't see your videos, but that's okay. Just want to let you know. And forward hinge into the upper body wide. Rick and Debbie, you don't see your video, but again, uh, if you don't watch the video, that's perfectly fine. As long as you can see go. And the squat to the punch side to set. And jumping jacks, jogging place, or skaters, anything you choose. Jumping jacks, jogging place, or skaters. Everybody relax. All right. So today's a little simpler than Wednesday if you're here. Round one. We have three exercises. We have the hip hinge, lateral run, and a plank. On the hip hinges, I'd like you to load it. If you have something you can hold, kettlebell, dumbbell, laundry detergent, anything works. The lateral run, if you don't have a box, Skaters. Skaters works. Okay. And on the planks, we're going to cycle through all the different planks that we've done. High, low, and bear crawl. Okay, I'll give you a quick demo of these three, and then we'll get started. All right. First one, put the screen down a little. Hip hinge. Okay. Shoulders back, knees slightly bent. Get a logo straight down towards the floor and back up. Okay, hip hinges. Number two, the lateral box run. If you don't have a box, do a skater. All right, first one we're going to go high plank. 
So that's going to be number three, high plank. If you have wrist issues, low plank is fine. All right. 35-15 interval. After the second round, we're going to do four sets. I'm going to come and watch some of the form. All right. So 35-15. And three, two, one. And hip hinges. My screen. Yeah. Make sure you're trying to drive those hips back and squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement. Got 10 seconds. And relax to the lateral run. Here we go. Three, two, one, and lateral run. Yeah, you're looking good. Try to get that heart rate elevated. Keep up the tempo. Ten seconds. And relax. Get ready for high plank position. Five seconds. Should be feeling an isometric contraction to the whole body. Everything should be engaged, not just the arms and the legs. Good job, everyone. Just a comment here. Um, a lot of you have disappeared from our screen, which is fine, but if you have the ability to adjust it down, we're able to see your technique better. I know it can be kind of a hassle for some, but if it's easy for you to tilt the screen, we can watch your technique. Nice job, Jan. Five seconds. Good adjustment there. Um, Kim. And relax. You ready? Back into the hip hinges. Here we go. So people use the key tell. You talk kind of equipment people are using. How to use what we have access to. And relax. Back to the cardio, lateral run or skaters. Gonna go narrow on the box this time. And here we go. And relax. You get ready for a low plank. Low plank. We're now almost to this up. Uh, we're looking at your roof right now. All right, Ashley. Ready to see you. Squadron, here we go. Nice 
Five seconds. And relax. Round three. Back to the hinges. Doing good, everybody. Over halfway through this set. Ten seconds. Everybody looks real good. You guys have some good coaching. I like what I'm seeing. Back to the cardio, whatever you've chosen. And here we go. Who's that doing the skaters? Huh? Who's doing the skaters? Skaters. Looking good, skaters. Keep it going. Jamie, it looks like you got a few people at your house. Ten seconds. And rest. Now the very rough place. Quick demo. And degree knees. Right there. Okay. And here we go. Hands under shoulders. Knees under hips. Try to get your hip to the 90 degree angle. Your knees are at a 90. Your ankles are at 90. But your spine is neutral, straight as neutral. If you're going to have trouble with this, do a bird down or just a high fly with your legs straight. And relax. Fourth and final round of these. Back to the hinges. Like Jamie's doing a single arm. That is another option as well. Single, single arm Five seconds. Great job. And rest. Back to your skaters or box. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Choose this time. Any plank of the three we did. Alrighty. Here we go. Last one. Yeah. Finish this round strong, you guys. Last plank. All the way to the buzzer.
Ten seconds. Nice job, everybody. Really solid. And relax. Very nice. Take a quick break. Jim will entertain. Well, I'm not going to entertain too much. Um, so good job, everybody. If, uh, let's take just about a minute or two break, get a sip of water, potty break, whatever it is. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and type them in, and I will go ahead and answer those um, on the audio rather than try to sort of type them right now. Or, or if, if we open up the audio to everybody, it's going to be really loud. So type in your questions if you have any. I'll, I'll address them. All right. So another minute or so break here. Uh, can it, you guys give me a thumbs up if things are working on your end? Okay, great. Anybody having a thumbs down experience right now? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna switch screens here, see the other folks. Anybody having thumbs down? Are you guys all good? Okay, great. Okay, here comes Joe again. All right, round two. I've already started sweating a little bit, but here we go. Can you guys see that? So we have single leg step to balance, number one. If you don't have a step, we're going to go reverse lunge on the same side, repeating. Straight arm pullover can be on a stability ball, a BOSU, or on the floor. And then bicycle abs. Is number three. If bicycle abs don't work for you, turn it into a crunch variation that you can do. All right? Those are your three. Here we go. Number one. Single leg step balance. Keeping the knee behind the toes. Grabbing through the back half of the foot. If you want to make it harder, if you have weights, you go balance curl, you can balance curl over. Not mandatory. If you don't have the step, doing the reverse lunge, high knee. Reverse lunge, high knee. All right? Here we go. Three, two, one, and 35, 15. the weight that's on the box loaded at all times. So Lonnie, to address your question, um, I think the reason my audio is a little garbled, it just has to do with the Wi-Fi um, connection. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Are you, I assume side. you're able to hear Joe all right. And here we go, other leg. Seconds. And relax. Do the straight arm pull over either on the ball or on the floor. Inhaling on the way over your head, exhaling on the way back. Inhale, exhale. This could also be done in a standing position. Uh, Karen, great job there. Uh, you, you modified it yourself. I see some people doing bands. That's another great option. It would be like a tricep, a 
and tricep extension overhead is another option for that. Do the bicycle abdominals. Great work, everybody. Do the diagonal crunch. One side at a time, just break it in half. Five seconds. And back to your box. Or your reverse lunge, whatever you have equipment for. Looking good, everybody. Keep pushing. And relax. Remember, any of this can be done without weight. If it's too much, reduce the weight. Great work, everybody. 10 seconds. I can see all your modifications. You guys are doing awesome. And relax. Back to the straight arm pull over. Tricep? So the standing variation of this could be a tricep extension overhead. Okay. I don't know if everybody else is going to hear it. Back to your crunch variation. So on this one, folks, if you don't want to get on the floor, you could always do a standing diagonal crunch like this. You don't opposite knee to opposite elbow. That would be a good variation. Five seconds. And back to your box. This round, I'm going to take my own advice and drop the weights. <laughs> Hope you guys are sweating by now. Two, one, 
and switch sides. Nice, everybody. Looking good. Let's keep up the intensity. <laughs> and here we go, other side. Yeah. Five seconds. And back to the straight arm pullover on your ball or on the floor or the standing variation. This is my favorite one. I get everybody's feet just flying through the top of the screen. It's really a... <laughs> and last round of these three, everybody. Last round. Make it your best round. Set of steps. Ten seconds. To your pullover option. Three, two, one, and relax. Last 
French variation. French. Ten seconds. Yeah. And relax. Nice. Good job, everybody. Let's give Joe a little bit of a break. Everybody take about a two-minute recovery, and we're going to do our last cycle. I did want to say that um, I'm going to do a little experiment where I'm going to try to um, – chat with individuals okay just to see how that works so like i might click on aaron like i'm going to do it right now aaron go ahead go ahead and talk uh -huh. okay great how, how's it going hi hi awesome okay um your your conversation is that way say again I think everyone can hear you. They can hear me? Although, Although you're both of us. Yeah. All right. I'm going to try, uh, Kim, I'm going to click on you now just to. Clint, Kim, can you say something? Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Is it yeah, is it working out OK on your end? Yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. All good. All good. Thank you. Um, Gary, I'm just going to, uh, how you doing, Gary? All right. You ready, Joe? Just, just fine. What's that, Gary? <coughs> just fine. You're doing great. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to mute you again. Uh, Steve. For some reason, yours is, there we go. Steve, <laughs> everything okay? Yep. yep. All right. A little bit of feedback uh, audio. Otherwise, okay. right. All right. Thank you. And one last person, Burdell. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's fine. I just want to know what the for the first uh, round it was skaters and plank and something else. What was it? I don't remember. It was uh, hip hinges. Hip hinges. Okay, with weight. Okay. I, I'm just, Mike is in bed. I'm yeah. going to give this to him out uh, here. Okay. Well, I would have Mike do it without weight. Just just a okay. body weight hip hinge. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start up again. All right. Uh, here's Joe. Our last three, everybody. The last three. We have a squat to upright row. Alternating front and lateral raises and jump rope or any other type of cardio variation you'd like to do, all right? Squat to upright row, alternating front and lateral raise, and jump rope, that's what all these look like. One second. Oh, this one just says that. Squat, upright row, okay? Squat, upright row. Elbows try to finish higher than wrists. Wrists stay neutral. Number two, alternating, front, front, lateral. Front, front, lateral, okay? And then any cardio variation is number three, all right? Everybody ready? All right, three, two, one, and squat upright row. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Ten seconds. Everybody, be sure to bring it up to your chin level. Don't go higher than your chin. And relax to the front 
and lateral raises. Try not to swing. Try to keep the movements controlled. Set the shoulders down and back. And relax. Seconds, get a couple breaths in there. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think everybody sees everybody. That's why people have a choice to be on video or not. This is a great exercise, but be careful not to use too much weight. You have a little more of the shoulders if you want to reload this plate. Three, two, one, and relax. Stack your dumbbells if you have them, or water bottles, canned food, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Good, everybody. Keep the weights just to shoulder height. Five seconds. And relax. Do your cardio choice. You know how long it's been on there? Hmm? You know how long it's been? Time? Can you tell on the screen? <laughs> My fault. <laughs> And relax. <laughs> Almost there, you guys. Almost there. Ten seconds. And relax. 
Back to the front lateral raises. You have to do one of these, Jim. Okay. Ah, it's too late now. Ten seconds. And relax. Imaginary jump rope for me this time. Uh, and here we go. Too many beers, Joe. Too many beers. <laughs> And relax, one more set. Five seconds. Ten seconds. And relax. Two to go. The races, then the cardio, we are all done. Last round, you guys. Ten seconds. Last round of cardio. And then you're done. And that's it. <laughs> Joe's going to do a little bit of a cool down. So if you want to get to the floor, um, put a towel down or whatever, just a little stretch out. Uh, if you've had enough, feel free to check out. Um, but we have a, a little bit to say right at the tail end of this. So let's go for another a couple minute cool, cool down. All right, everybody. I want you to grab both your knees. Pull them into your chest. Now I want you to imagine that you're rocking just your hips side to side. Try to keep your shoulders in contact with the floor. All right, 
right, now figure four position. One ankle over the opposite knee. You're going to try to pull the leg that's on the ground towards you. Okay? You're just going to hold. Stretching the glutes primarily. A little bit of IT band in there. And go ahead and switch sides. And relax. Now both feet on the floor, flat on the floor. You're just going to rock your knees gently side to side. I get a little spinal rotation happening, especially in the low thoracic and lumbar. If you separate your feet wide, it opens up the hips a little bit differently. If your feet are close together, it affects more of your spine. Just experiment with wide feet and feet close together. All right, now choose a side. You're going to bring your knees up towards your chest, supporting your head with the bottom arm. You're going to open up your top arm, do an arm circle, and bring it all the way around. T spine rotation. Okay. Exhale as you open up, inhale as you close it down. Do two more on that side, and then we'll switch over. And switch sides. And open it up the other side. Make sure you're not spread at a 90 degree angle. The torso rotation, not just the shoulder. So you want to rock your torso forward and back. All right, now we'll let you guys flat, torso. flat on your stomachs, kind of in a push up position, just laying on the floor. You're going to use your hands to push your torso up just to get a little sp spinal. What's this? Extension. Extension. Hold it for a couple seconds. Slowly lower it back down. Do this for about five more seconds. All right, hands and knees. I'm going to wrap you back into child's pose. Really sink down as low as you can. One more of those. And a few cat and cows. Okay, so belly button driving up towards ceiling, pelvic tilt, and sink belly button down towards floor. And repeat. Your does look good, but let your head fall. Let your head drop. Oh, that is it, everybody. Happy Friday. Virtual fist pump it. Good work, everybody. Good seeing you. Hope you guys have a good weekend. We will be doing one of these tomorrow. Coach Jen will be coaching it. Have we decided on a, a time yet? Uh, I think it's going to be 10 o'clock as well. So most likely 10 o'clock tomorrow with Coach Jen. We'll be sending out another email invite.
If you guys have any questions, go ahead and type them in the side. If not, you guys are all good to go. Jim's got a little message, but good seeing you guys. Awesome. Good work, everybody. Um, thanks for joining in. Looks like we had like 30 people. So it's a pr water. pretty good group. Um, Want to let you know, um, I did upload a, um, what I call a um, movement preparation video. Um, we'll figure out how to get it to you guys, but it's sort of like the warm up before the warm up. You guys have seen me on the floor doing it all the time. So it's nothing new, but it's, It'll be, we'll be sending that out to you guys as well, either on YouTube or somehow on this Zoom venue. But uh, tomorrow, Jen will be coaching. It's going to be from her house. Um, right now, she doesn't want to come into the gym, which is fine. Um, so please plug in again tomorrow. Email any feedback. Type in any feedback here. But uh, thanks, you guys. Great seeing you. We miss you. And Joe, thanks a lot. Great work. Great seeing you guys. Adios. Bye-bye. Boom. Yeah, all the way to the bottom right. There it is. And then stop meeting for all. Boom.